Hey, Brooklyn, I'm Angela Renee Coakley, host of Be Real on BK Live, where you'll get real conversations with real A-listers and influencers in media, entertainment, and the arts. Today, I'm thrilled to be hosting a veteran stage and film actor, musician, entrepreneur, and family man who also makes Brooklyn his home. You may recognize him as one of the two leads in the groundbreaking 90s hit show, New York Undercover, or as Gavin and Tyler Perry's Why Did I Get Married series, and even more recently, Vernon and Lee Daniels' Empire. Please welcome the illustrious and iconic Malik Yoba. Welcome to the show. Good afternoon. You look excited. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm I heard so I'm your first guest. Yes, I'm super, super excited. So yes. can we clear something up yeah. at the top? In your intro, you said um, A-list. So I'm not really A-list. I'm on A-list. Right. <laughs> okay, okay, we'll go with that. <laughs> but don't do. So you listen, go. you can see it's changed a lot. Brooklyn has changed it a is. lot. I'm They're, bugging out. Yeah, buildings and everything are There's going up. The studio here, there's three guys in beers behind these cameras. And there's there's a one whole clean group shaven. Of people in the control room. One clean shaven cat. There's a sound guy. I don't think he's working anymore. Though. He's sitting there. So just make sure he's paying attention. Yeah, he's paying attention. He's working. So what do you love outside of Brooklyn being your home? I know I see mom hanging out at Madiba and stuff like that. What do you really love about Brooklyn? It could be old school and or new school Brooklyn. What do you love? Um, I, I, I truly love living in this neighborhood. It's, it's, it's you know, what's crazy is um, my mother's been around here for 20-something years. Um, in the 90s, I had opportunities to buy brownstones in the neighborhood. They were like two, 300 grand. I was like, nah, I'm from the hood. I'm, I lived on the Upper West Side yeah. at the time in Manhattan off Central Park. <laughs> um, but for the last 11 years, I've made Brooklyn my home again. I lived in Brooklyn in the 90s, in the 80s, in Park Slope. And I was 18, I had my first apartment um, in, on 7th Avenue and Carroll Street. Yeah. So, um, I lived over there too. That was like 80, time. whatever, 85, 84, something like that. Um, so, I, but I love, I travel all over the world and I, I literally love coming back home. Like, BK I love is home. the vibe in, in, in Fort Greene, even if there's nobody on the street, just energetically what I feel when I walk around. Um, but, um, you know, I'm glad. I, I sat with the Downtown Brooklyn Partnership about yeah, um, eight, about nine that. years ago, and they showed me the plans for all the developments, all these buildings that you now see. Um, you knew they were coming. I knew they were coming. Um, and so did a whole lot. Well, a small group of people knew. Oh, yeah. The majority just continues to kind of bug out over. I'm one of them. What's I still happening. bug out a little bit. So yeah. tell me, when did you know when you wanted to become an actor? Was it like a school play, or did you come up like in church? You know, when did you know? Um, I, I did a. Um, I saw Alice in Wonderland when I was four. Oh, okay. In, on an off-Broadway production, and. And that was it. That was that was it. So. Do you remember your first role? Um, well, we started in the house, like my siblings and I, six of us, and so we wrote plays and performed them. And so around holiday time, or somebody's on the piano, or there was no piano. There was guitars in the house, um, a lot of books, a lot of construction paper, crayons. You know, there was no TV. My father refused to put a TV in the house. Yeah, we didn't grow up on much TV either. Yeah. So um, many people may not know that New York Undercover made history because it cast two men of color as leads at that time. How do you feel the industry has changed, or has it? And is it better, or what do you think? Um, well, there's certainly more platforms than there used to be. So Indeed. there's more opportunity. There's, you know, there used to be a time for it, like during the Image Awards, it's, the joke was kind of like, if you were black and you were on the show, you got nominated. <laughs> because there weren't that many people in the right. 90s. There yeah. weren't that many people. But look um, how many now. So I yeah, mean, between cable and network and yeah. you know Hulu and Netflix, you have a lot more opportunity. So um, I think the fundamental change still has to be, you know, the content creators have to, you know, be folks of all backgrounds. And I think the, there's distribution channels that you didn't have before. So people can literally, like Issa Rae, right? She put yeah, on, she, you know, yeah. awkward, awkward black girl and becomes insecure, yeah, insecure. On, yeah. on HBO. So I think that's that's one of the most most significant changes that I think a lot of people still don't take advantage of, of just creating their own their own content. Um, yeah. So you're a guest starring as FBI Deputy Director. I'm actually a series regular now. Correct oh, that. I'm Ooh, sorry, see. series regular. Oh, this, this series regular. This over, man. <laughs> we have a clip uh, of you on Designated Survivor. Let's show the clip first, and we can talk about it. Mr. Atwood, I noticed your son didn't show up for practice. Have you seen him? I can assure you, Luke is fine. In fact, he's the only kid I know who likes coffee ice cream. Where's my son? Where is my son? Deep breath, Jason. 
Think it through. Anything happens to me in the next photo you'll see is Luke with a bullet in his brain. I know you love your family. And it would be a tragedy if something happened to Luke. Or to Yvette. Sometime after you've buried your son. You hurt my family. I promise you. I will kill you. And whatever the hell you're working with. Your son will be safe as long as you do everything I tell you to do, starting with the obvious. Tell anyone about this encounter. And Luke dies. What do you want? You're going to make an appointment with the president. And when you're face to face with Kirkman, you will do exactly as I instruct. I'll be in touch. Yeah, that was so intense. How did you prepare for that? Did you have to envision something happening to your own family? How did you get that? Uh, no. I, okay. Like, this is, no, I, I don't, um, um, you know, I've, I've done a few roles where, you know, children are, are involved and, you know, it's not an uncommon practice to use substitution and draw on something in your own life. But, um, no, it's just really the, the, um, the thought about what would happen, you know? Um, I don't have Ooh. to necessarily use my own. Oh, you don't have to do that. Okay. No, so, certain times you do, but not for those. I'm, I'm careful because there's a there's a there's a very real line between fact and fiction. Your brain and your spirit doesn't always know the difference. Difference. And mm. So you have to be careful feel that. with what you tap into. So um, you're also a businessman. Share some of your ventures that are that are, that are coming up. I know you have um, the pop culture summit and things like that. Talk about that. So um, I've done a lot um, in the entrepreneurial space, like starting with a paper out in Harlem as an eight-year-old. So I had yeah, a paper out bike messenger, eight, everything. Eight to sixteen, yeah. uh, I was, had a paper out in Harlem. But um, I've had a restaurant. I had a restaurant for nine I years remember. in Midtown. the city. Yeah. I want to do another one in the neighborhood. Yes. Um, but what's coming up? Like right? What's on? What is on the verge? Right so now? the big, the thing I work on the most these days. Um, is my lifestyle firm, Iconic 32. So we create content, we do branding and strategy and okay. uh, marketing for companies, and we do experiential marketing. So most recently I just directed a, a film called uh, Breaking Barriers uh, uh, for a fashion company called Nesh NYC. Okay. Uh, local, um, it started as an athleisure brand for women, um, but they're moving more into luxury comfort or, or okay, sports. Okay, so you're directing too, so we can see some more directing from well, you. Yeah. All right, we we'll add that to the list. So there's a list. There's <laughs> there's there's. A, well, I've been directing for a long time, but okay. what I'm saying is that as a brand, as a company, the work that we do for brands around strategy and marketing and building brand architecture, part of that is um, creating content. So I just directed a, a film that I'm very happy is very Brooklyn-centric. My awesome. editor's from Brooklyn, the DP's Brooklyn. Awesome. A lot, most of the cast is from Brooklyn. We shot around Brooklyn. Um, the, the, one of the principals, a business development woman, lives in Bed-Stuy. Um, so we literally just finished that film um, a couple of days ago. Okay. So we're going to be launching it soon. We'll but we're also doing a lot of, um, just a lot of, you know, building, help, this is exciting, you know, because it's all storytelling. And okay. it's a brand that it's gonna be exciting. It's, they're small enough that we can be with them for the ride of. Okay, well now yeah. it's time for the Be Real, Keeping It Real rundown. I'm gonna give you a couple questions. You just answer right off the top. SoCo or Blue Ribbon? Don't do that. Yes! Fort Greene or Brooklyn Bridge Park? I, I mean, I love them both. House or hip hop? Both. Biggie or Jay-Z? Both. Ah! Oh! Bam or Barclays? Both. I mean, I love it. I saw Brooklyn. Okay, you know I couldn't let you get away without this question. Yeah. What's your purpose? Uh, I was joking. <laughs> so we, yeah, she goes back to, um, yeah. It's, that's a good line to ask a woman on the dance floor that you, that you want to be, okay. your, if you want to freak her out, you Listen, ask that question. So do you speak Spanish, yes or no? Sometimes. Okay. So, dices algo sensual en español. I... 
That's, I, that's, right? I poppy, that's no, what we're gonna I'm go with? I'm not gonna say I poppy, but I, I right. Okay, all right, it was so good to have you here. Thanks so good much for you. coming. Congratulations, yeah. Thank you, thank you. We had a blast, Brooklyn. Thank you again to our guest, Malik Yoba, and thanks for watching Be Real on BK Live.